don't know who I'm more disappointed by, Panasonic with their GH7, which is basically a G9 II after quitting crack. Yeah, you thought I was gonna, oh, G9 II on crack, bro. No, it quit the drugs and got boring. Or Canon with their C400 and the 35 mil with nano motors that do nothing. We have a lot to get to today. All I want is the perfect camera All I want is the perfect camera So I realize I'm about to suck the joy out of any happiness that the camera manufacturing teams have put forth It's like, let's make the best we can do, here it is And then I'm just here, it sucks, bro uh, That's stupid We're all a bunch of sacks who, like, shouldn't be appeased Just keep making your cameras, don't listen to us But I'm just, I'm a little baffled if I must say, the GH7, it's a good camera just like the G9 II was, but like, what did you add other than the most puzzling ProRes RAW codec that cannot be edited in DaVinci Resolve? So like, what does that do for me? Everyone's in DaVinci. You're gonna pay monthly for Premiere Pro, why would you do that? $10,000 later and you're like, that was much worse than the 300 for the one-time thing with DaVinci. Aren't you in a partnership? What happened to the L-Mount Alliance? And then Blackmagic joined it? So did DJI? Can you sneak a little Blackmagic RAW in that thing? What are you doing with ProRes RAW? What are you even going to do with that thing? Glorious, probably, for Mac users. You bunch of Mac sheep. I can't imagine they had a meeting that would allow this to happen, but they did have one. Alright fellas, we've been taking a lot of heat over that S9 release. It was not our best foot forward, I admit it, but I saw a TikTok video, it looked cool, I thought we could make a camera for them, and little LUT packs, and it didn't work out, so let's just release something epic. Let's bring the love back to Micro Four Thirds. What do you think, GH7? I'm down with that, let's just... One thing, boss, the GH7 has to be better in video than the G9 II. That was our photocentric one. If that one's basically the same, we have no division plan here. There's no separation. So like we have to outdo it in every way. 4K 240, HD 480, Blackmagic Raw. Can you call them? Are they busy? They're in the hot tub? Uh-oh. Johnson, we're doing all that. Rest assured, we got ProRes Raw coming. 12-bit, take that full frame. Up to 30p in 5.7k. 4k is a little bit of a 1.4 times crop. No 4k 120 or 60 frames. No HD 240. But raw 5k 7.7k. But I thought you shook hands with Black Magic Johnson last week. You, he said you could use the Black Magic raw. ProRes can't be edited by anyone. Da Vinci Black Magic the Alliance. You, you signed the contract. I saw it. It was a spit shake. Are, are we going to honor that? Johnson, this is ProRes Raw here. People used to use that like 10 years ago. This is the best still, probably. Come on. Da Vinci. No one's using that. It's free. Who would use something free? It's one time. You don't appreciate something until you pay monthly for it. Like divorce court. Okay, whatever, that's not the main issue here, okay? You can do ProRes RAW, that's cool, but... So you're slow-mo, you're beating the G9 II, right? Because that did 4K 120 and HD 300. That was manual focus only, though, so we're doing autofocus now in that mode, right? Or more frame rates and autofocus? Because it's a big fan, it's a huger body. Not only can we match the specs of the G9 II photocentric camera... <laughs> Boy, how, how come I don't have a, the words to finish that sentence? We match it. It's matched. Boss, I'm, I can't, I can't handle the fact that cameras are not getting better ever. It's always the same thing over and over again, or worse, or something's wrong with it, it's not improved. You're a G9 II, but heavier, more expensive. What is the, you're a fan. The G9 II never overheated. What are we gaining? I didn't gain anything. When my mom got pregnant, she gained a problem. Me. What are we gaining here? 
pony boy. So it's not like the GH7 is bad, but it's, I'm not gaining. There's nothing in it that I would use over the G9 II for it's somewhat lighter. It's still heavy as hell, both of those cameras, but you finally corrected the GH6 mistake of like, why did you even release that thing? You were developing phase detect autofocus and then you release the GH6 without it. You already had it in the works, but you're like, we better release this for what reason? I don't know, but I'm just disappointed. Your Micro Four Thirds, and it's four years after the A7S III release and you haven't beat it yet. We're still doing HD 300 with manual focus only. Nothing improved and the bigger body with a fan. What do we even get? And when it comes to the Canon releases, I mean, the C400, like who cares, really? Like in the honest spectrum of our world, I'm sure there are clients who need something amazing like that. And there's like professionals. The difference between like a professional videographer versus the more important YouTube scrub. What are we doing? Like no one cares about these expensive, heavy cinema cams that don't even match my A7S III for some reason. It's like, we can do 4K 120 in a crop, Super 35. And if you crop more, we get HD 180. That's almost the 240 of the non-cropped A7S III full frame without a focus. The hell, man. Like, I get it. 12-bit raw Canon color science full frame RF mounts, like, destroys the A7S III. Side by side, it's like, what even is that, the Sony? But for fun, in a small package, you're trying to compete with my A7S III pointy boy. Come on. So it's like, Canon, go to bed. I was taking notes during that cringy ass presentation of that, that filmmaker DP person. She was like, oh my God, this is the best. This is a critical review, I promise. I'm not paid. This is the best camera ever made. I can't believe there's no flaws in it. Full frame 6K, that's where you went wrong. 6K 60, who needs that? Nobody. That means your 4K 120 had to be cropped because you got too many megapixels. You're a freaking cinema cam, what are you doing? Dual pixel autofocus two. Where's the quad pixel autofocus that I thought was coming? Not in this thing. Is that crippled for some reason? You need it in a higher end cinema cam? Freaking C500 Mark VI. Stacked sensor, where's the speed then? Is my sensor stacked? No. How come it's faster than yours? You're stupid. 3.5 pounds, sounds heavy. I don't like that. Mini XLRs in the body. I have a mini XLR input in my pants. Triple ISO, neat gaming trick. Will I ever use it or need it? Stupid. It's kind of cool, actually. Way to go. It's the only thing that's like, wow, not bad. For some people who give a shit, I couldn't care. I don't care if I'm at ISO 15,000 right now. I'll do it. 180 frames per second, super 16 crop. A 17 to 120 lens. When it comes to the 35 mil, thank you shill tubers for telling me it exists and it's perfect and that you want it, but no, it's not as good as the original 35 mil 1.4 Mark I that nobody tested. The Mark II, what are you doing? That's the, the worst version of it. You lost your pop and character. No one's, all you cared about was corner sharpness. That's all I saw being tested. It's much sharper right up here than the L lens of 35 mil, so it's better, right? Up here, that's what you want. What do you see there? It's a dark and black chasm of my heart. What do you need to see? The background's usually blurry. You want it sharp for what? It's probably better than the EF version in a lot of ways. Sharper, better autofocus, like everything about it's probably good and it'll look decent enough, but there was a look to the old EF glass for instance, I just made a video on my Sony with the Canon 85mm 1.2 trying to redeem myself. No, I couldn't stop it down. You stupid adapters not letting you stop it down, but that's a character look that you're not going to get on the RF 1.2 or the Z 1.2. It's a special feel of old timey glass that has disappeared and I will have no part of it. So we're talking modern version. Okay. You've done it. 
where's my 24 mil 1.4? I have a lot of things I'm thinking of buying, and I was waiting for today, yesterday, for you, for these announcements. I was thinking, okay, Panasonic and Canon, they're both coming out. Maybe I will go back. I still have my EF 85mm and 24mm 1.4, so it's like, okay, if you announce something like R5 II and it beats the A7S III, and I'm like, okay, Canon Color Science, I love you. I'll go full Canon, even though I said I'd abandon them forever. Now I know what was coming. Utter nothingness. Cinema cams for professionals? What are you filming? Diaper commercials? I don't need that kind of brainwashing. Buy our diapers. Huggies. Why do I even know the brand? I've never worn one. I had cotton disposable one or rewashable ones. My mom washed my diapers. Thank you very much. Did I write that? Diaper advertisements for the Canon. We're not getting a lot. So Panasonic, definitely not. I have my Leica 25mm 1.4 just waiting. I want a micro four thirds camera. Can you imagine it? Right here, boom, 50 mil equiv. And then we're going wildlife, best stave in the business. Holy shit. You haven't brought me back, Panty Boy. I love you, but I also hate you. And Canon's done nothing. So now I have to make my own decisions with my eBay cart. All these Voigtlander glass and Zeiss 135 for this, or the Nikon, or get both and compare them. Thank you for making my decision easier to not join your stupid cult. I'll leave. How you doing? Do you agree? The cameras are available through my affiliate links, especially the C400. I make at least $12 on that one if you buy it. It's worth it. I'll leave. How you doing? Subscribe for now, saying it.